This video is an introduction to the Pebeo Fantasy range of paints. This is the uh, Fantasy Moon, uh, which um, is a sort of a metallic oil-based paint, which uh, creates an effect very similar to looking at the surface of the moon at night. And in the second one is the um, Pebeo Prisme paint, which forms a, a, like a honeycomb effect sort of, of cells and um, pretty random effects. Uh, they can be used individually or they're used together, uh, they interact and um, create some very interesting effects. Okay, the key thing when using these paints is to stir it and stir and stir and stir and when you think you've stirred enough is to stir it again. Um, the active ingredient that creates the effects actually settles out and it does take a lot of stirring and it tends to settle out to the bottom of the bottle. Uh, I use the um, little coffee stirrers that uh, I get from a certain coffee chain that I pick up when I go in there for my coffee. Um, I don't want to say too much but uh, they don't uh, cost a lot. So anyway I'm going to keep stirring and stirring and stirring see I don't know if you can see that but you can start seeing the, um, the sort of metallic element of the paint comes to the surface and it's just a matter of keep stirring and stirring and because it tends to uh, stick to the bottom and sides of the bottle what I find is, is usually when I buy them, probably where they've been stood on the shelf for a long time, they've um, they really do settle out a lot. And then subsequently, when I use them, they don't require quite as much stirring. But I can't emphasise how much um, how important it is to stir these thoroughly, because they will not give their full effects if they're not properly mixed. Just as an example, I've just opened this new bottle which I've just bought, which is the um, Prism Violet. And when you actually look, when you first open it, see that it's actually like a brown liquid. The colour is separated to the bottom. And when I stir, as I start stirring, the actual pigment and the want of a better word, active ingredients get mixed into that into the paint so as you can see it's now oh, it's now uh, mixing in quite well one of the things I like to make with these um, Pebio Fantasy paints are pendants and I buy these um, pendant blanks off eBay uh, they're very cheap um, they've got a little bezel there which holds the paint um, there's a hook for um, to suspend the chain um, and I, um, I've got them propped up at the moment on one of the sticks because to keep them level so the paint applies easily and um, I really like using the um, prism paints on these because I really like the effects that they, they, they give. Um, I'm going to try one now and I'm going to use the prism violet and uh, the um, English red uh, because I, it's a colour combination that I wanted to try. Um, I'm uh, going to give it a go and uh, see what we get giving it all a good stir and hopefully we'll see what happens I said the, the effects on these are quite random and um, although you have some control uh, you're never quite sure how it's going to turn out well, what I do is um, if I get something that I think 
looks um that I doesn't think looks too good when it's dried. I've actually managed to scrape them out and uh, been able to reuse the reuse the blank. Uh, now these paints take uh, at least you want to allow at least uh, 72 hours for them to dry fully to cure, and then I um, use the Pebio, um glazing resin over the top and this sort of forms a nice dome and encapsulates the paint and um, it has an effect, well, it gives you an effect almost like a natural sort of stone or crystal now at the moment this looks quite um, like quite a uniform pattern but as the paints start to work and interact the colours merge and mingle as the effect develops and the finished pendant will look nothing like there we go will probably look nothing like this I'm just going to add a bit more of the violet into that. Now that doesn't look anything, well I mean it looks interesting but the end result will bear very little resemblance to that and, um, now the other one I've got this new colour which I really like the look of and it's called Caribbean Blue now I I'm a big lover of the sea I live in Cornwall and um, quite close to the sea well, at the moment, in the middle of the winter, it's actually grey and not particularly nice colour. But this Caribbean blue is, oh, well, it is like a tropical sea. And uh, I've been really it's a colour that I've wanted to try for quite a while. The, um, if you want to try these paints, Pepio do a trial pack, uh, which are, at, the, at the moment in the UK, the, there's a uh, Hobbycraft are selling them four pounds seventy-five. I think it's for six different colours uh, of the fantasy uh, range. There's there's six moons or six um, prisms. And uh, which is a good, they're 20 mil bottles, and um, it's a very inexpensive way of giving these paints a trial. Because although 20 mil doesn't sound very much, they actually go an incredible long way, and uh, I think are very good value because you don't need very much of them to uh, use. I'm going to try a little bit of gold um, gold in this. Oh dear. Right, now what I've done is, um, while I've been talking to you, I've um, picked up the wrong pot and I've actually um, oh, here we go. Put in moon um, into the prism paint. Now moon tends to take over the prism 
paint. Um, when I say take over, it um, as you can see, it's already spreading. This is like a lace effect, and it will creep over a lot of the colour. And um, quite often, it stops the honeycomb effect um, forming totally, um, but it creates. Uh, a totally different sort of a hybrid texture between the the sort of the, the normal moon finish and the uh, prism finish. I don't, I don't know how to describe it really, um, but as you can see, this is already um, the moon is spreading rapidly up through the. Um, Prism paint. Hmm, I'm not sure how that's going to turn out, but um, I will uh, wait and see. I think I'm going to add some more of the violet colour to the first pendant. She's a bit more of a balance, although, as I said, there's going to be very little this end. The end result will bear very little resemblance to what is happening there. Right, there's. Yeah, there's some interesting effects. I just need to be careful because I'm going to put paint onto the. Um, there you go. There's some interesting effects um, beginning to form around the edge of the violet prism there, and the Caribbean blue uh, to form. Looks like we've got a little lump or something there. Not sure. Bubble. Right, what I'll do is I'm going to leave those now. I'll come back to them in about 10 minutes and uh, we'll see how they've, uh, how they've developed. Okay, I've given this uh, five minutes to develop and uh, as you can see the on the left hand side the English red has sort of taken over dominance but the um, the violet is coming up through and um, it's mixing up quite nicely it's actually creating quite a nice effect on the right hand side the prism effect is beginning to form in the Caribbean blue at the top and um, a bit of the violet on the uh, right hand side but the, the fantasy moon really has taken over at the bottom um, Hmm, I'm not sure that I actually like that effect at the moment. So I'm going to add some more of the prism violet into the middle of that fantasy, uh, the, in, in, in the middle of the moon there, the silver moon. Um, don't know what that's going to do. Um, oh, I was a bit careless there. Okay, let's put... Actually spilt a little bit on the edge and it's gone into the one on the right, but it's no problem on the one on the left even. Okay, just right. Let's leave that for a little bit. Now, I've got just a little oh sorry folks. A little bit of tissue there. Let's take that off. Uh, 
and I'm actually going to add just a little Caribbean blue on the right hand side of well. Try a little bit of that. It's quite um it's uh good fun actually playing with these because well the, the danger is actually that you try and you try and um create something out of a process that is actually quite random and it's knowing oh it's a big blob big blob it's sometimes it's just having the confidence to actually leave things alone yeah as I've added more paint there it's actually pushed the moon back up into the um, um, prism at the top hmm the Caribbean blue is actually quite is um, virtually disappeared now. And, uh, hmm. Okay, we're now um, twenty minutes. I think it's about twenty minutes, thirty minutes, something like that. Um, things have really uh, moved on. Um, the uh, pendant on the left. I think he's well lovely. He's created some really nice, nice patterns and some textures coming up through there. Um, that will continue to develop. So, although what it may look really nice now, it can change. Uh, can can look totally different. The one on the right, um, yeah, I I really like the effect actually. It's um, not what I was setting out to do I was trying to do one with the with the prism paints to get the honeycomb effect uh, but I really like the well it, it it's like a natural stone actually like a, a, a metallic marble and I uh, like the way that the violet and the Caribbean blue and the silver have all reacted together so uh, I'm quite pleased with that so I'll um, I'll come back to it in about an hour and um, we should have a better idea of how it's going to look when it's uh, finally dry and um, because of the depth of this the drying time um, it will be touch dry probably between 24 and 48 hours uh, and then fully cured after about 72 hours but um, try and keep them level uh, because they can although they, they skin over the paint can be uh, still liquid underneath the skin and uh, corn can form big bulges and um, and I've actually ruined uh, several pieces like this so um, anyway I'll keep going and um, uh, we'll, we'll have a look at it again in about an hour okay I'm just going to have a close look um, at uh, both the pendants it's now uh, about an hour and a half since I've added the paint this uh, this one on the left um, the uh, violet and the um, uh, the red, the English red, as um, I really like this one. I'm really liking the way it's it's turning out. I love the um, the, the way the colours are separated, and um, although the prism effect hasn't uh, developed yet, and um, no, it's it's uh, I really do like the like the way that one's looking. Now moving along to the uh, one with the accident where I put the uh, moon on and um, with the Caribbean blue and the violet again I really do like the, the effects, the swirls it's, um, it reminds me a little bit of um, the, the, the pictures taken from space looking down on the earth with the clouds swirling and um, where you've got the sea and, and, and some landmass. It's um, this 
I don't know. It just seems to remind me of that for some reason. Anyway, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to save these now for part two of the video. And in part two, I'll uh, have waited 72 hours. And then I will put on uh, some of the glazing resin. And um, on these and some of the other pendants that I've actually done. It's 24 hours later. The paint is now touch dry. And uh, this is the final effects of the of the paint. I'm really pleased with these two. Looking forward to glazing them in part two.